everybody. We got a little bit of a change of scenery here. I am at my mom's and I am in my brother Joshua's room. It is time for another one of our 12 disciple videos. This is the 12th disciple, Judas. Now, Judas the traitor, known as Judas Iscariot, they called him the traitor in, you know, the book I looked in. I believe it was um, the Thompson Reference Bible, the King James Version. And in the back, it's got a list of all of them. And in the section he's in, the traitor is what it says. He was from Kirioth, um of Judea. He was one of the 12 disciples. He betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, which led to Jesus' death on the cross. Among the disciples, Judas was the official treasurer, and he was apparently pretty shady even before he made his big debut as one of the worst person in history. He stole money. And, um... John chapter 12, verse 6. Despite that, Judas was a fairly conflicted person. You know, he tried to return the 30 pieces of silver, and according to the Gospel of Matthew, he hanged himself not long after, betraying Jesus. People in ancient Israel didn't have last names like we do. In the Bible, last names you see are descriptions, which generally refer to where someone comes from a title, their father's name, a group they're identified with. Unfortunately, we aren't totally sure what Iscariot refers to. Some research says that it could come from Caesarea, a group of Jewish rebels who were trained as assassins, but it does not mention this in the Bible. This was just other research. Whatever it means, Iscariot helps us distinguish Jesus' betrayer from other people named Judas. Judas seems to have been a common name in Jesus' time, which that makes sense considering that it's the Greek form of the Hebrew Judah, the tribe of King David. There were eight people named Judas in the New Testament leading in the New Testament. Now leading up to his betrayal of Jesus, not much is said about Judas. He's simply listed among the twelve. Interestingly, the Gospel of John tells us that Judas Iscariot was in charge of the group's money. Now, you might think that a tax collector like Matthew would have been the natural choice for managing the group's finances. However, tax collectors had a well-deserved reputation for being dishonest with money in Jesus' day. So while Matthew was financially savvy, uh, the other disciples may not have trusted him, or perhaps Jesus didn't want to give him the temptation. Now I want to mention I caught myself getting mad writing this and studying about Judas. But Judas ultimately had to play this role without the sacrifice and the blood Jesus shed dying on the cross for us. There would have been no hope for us. Without that blood, sacrifice, and love, we would have never had the opportunity, had an opportunity to feel conviction and be saved. Jesus died for us. He died for our sins. Jesus knew Judas was going to betray him, and he, and he didn't stop him because it was all part of God's plan for redemption. The book of Matthew records that Judas hung himself immediately after the chief priests refused to take their money back. In Matthew chapter 27, verses 5 through 7, it says, And he, meaning Judas, cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And the chief priests took the silver pieces and said, It is not lawful for to put them into the treasury because it is, a, it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. It was considered blood money, and it was tainted. So they took the money and bought a field where they could bury strangers in, as it says. That was our lesson on Judas. Now I want to talk about something. It speaks of two more that were called as disciples after the ascension of Jesus which we will go on to talk about in the next two weeks. We've got Matthias was called after the ascension, 
And then we got Saul, who was also called Paul. Now, I wanted to get to Paul. Once we start talking about him, we will probably do a few lessons on Paul because there is a lot to say about Paul. So I will break Paul's um, videos up into probably three or four different lessons. And we'll go over Paul a few weeks. But I hope you all enjoyed it. I love each and every one of you. Have a good weekend. Have a safe weekend. And I will be back with our video on Matthias. Bye.